Question number 19, we are told the equation of a curve is given by y is equals to 1 plus 3 sine x. Uh, part A, complete the table below for y is equals to uh, 1 plus 3 sine x corrects to 1 decimal place. Uh, so you get 2 marks. So uh, here you have been given the, the row of a angle x that is uh, and the function y is equals to uh, 1 plus uh, 3 sine x so you just make use of your calculator and get these values to one decimal place so for example here when 30 you should be able to get 2.5 uh, then when it comes to 90 you get 4 just by, by using the calculator 120 you get uh, 3.6 then 150 you get 2.5 uh, then you have uh, 240, you get uh, minus 1.6. Uh, then you have 270, you get minus 2. Uh, then we have uh, 330. Using your calculator, you should get minus 0 0.5. And finally, we have 360, uh, you get uh, that is 1. So with, that is how you feel by working with your calculator. Part B, common number on the grid, uh, draw the graph of y is equals to uh, 1 plus 3x sine x for 0 less than or equals to 360, uh, x less than 360. Uh, so with that, what we are going to do is uh, we now make use of a grid to be able to plot that graph. After filling the table, uh, part B, Roman number 1, on the grid provided, draw the graph of y is equals to 1 plus 3 sine x for 0 less than x less than 360. So I have already inserted the table that we are going to use to plot the graph uh, and I have a grid here. So I'm going, uh, the highest value of y is uh, 4 and the lowest is minus 2. So if I take that point, I can say 1, uh, say 2, 3, and 4, so that will be my y-axis. Then uh, we have 0 there, we have minus 1, we have minus 2. Uh, then we take uh, from 0, we have 30, we have 60, we have, these are degrees, uh, we have uh, 90, we have uh, 120, uh, we have uh, 150, uh, we have 180, uh, 210, uh, 240, uh, 270, uh, we have 300 uh, degrees, we have 330, and we have 360. So that is uh, our x, these are x degrees. Uh, and therefore what remains now is to identify the points that uh, uh, on our table so when x is 0 uh, y is 1 uh, so y is 1 when x is uh, uh, 30 y is 2.5 uh, 2.5 is there uh, so we have 60 3.6 uh, 3.6 there uh, we have uh, 90 we have 4 120, 3.6, uh, 150, 2.5, this is uh, 2.5, uh, 180, we have 1, uh, then we have one, one, 210, we have minus 0 0.5, 210 is minus 0 0.5, is there, uh, we have 270 minus 2, 240 it is uh, minus 1.6 minus 1.6 is there uh, we have uh, 270 is minus 2 uh, we have uh, 300 is minus 1.6 and we have uh, uh, 330 is minus 0 0.5 and we have 360 is 1 so 330 is 0 0.1, uh, 5 is minus 0 0.5, and 360 is 1. So with these points, uh, we join them using the free hand, and we'll come up with a graph.
so this is a graph of y is equals to 1 plus this uh, uh, 3 uh, sine x so that is a part b uh, and you get yourself 3 marks so let's have a look at uh, what we are supposed to do in part uh, b roman number 2 part part b part b roman number 2 we are told state uh, state the amplitude of the curve y is equals to 1 plus uh, 3 sin x so if you look at the curve here it is start from here that is from 1 uh, and and at uh, at 180 at minus 1 and it repeats itself uh, at uh, 360 so if we draw a line at 1 you can be able to see that uh, uh, the amplitude of uh, the curve is equals to uh, that is 1 2 3 if you count here 1 2 3 so amplitude is equals to 3 so that's how we determine the amplitude of the graph let's see what we are required to do in the part c so part c we are told on the same grid draw the graph of y is equals to tan x for 90 degrees less than x less than 270 so what we do here is uh, we make a table so our function is y is equals to tan uh, x uh, therefore we can make a table here for this function uh, to have the values uh, so that's our ta that will be our table uh, so this is our our x and this is tan x uh, tan x or y is equals to uh, so we have um, at 0 at 90 uh, y is at infinity at 90 degrees at uh, 200 uh, 120 y is at minus 1.2 you use your calculator uh, 1.2 uh, we go to 150 uh, using your calculator y is at minus 0 0.6 uh, then we have uh, 180 y is 0 or tan x is 0 we have 210 uh, degrees is our degrees uh, 210 we have uh, 0 0.6 uh, we extend our table here uh, so we have uh, 240 240 degrees uh, the value of y is 1.7 and uh, we have uh, 270 uh, the value of y or tan x is at infinity uh, you run this when you are plotting uh, trigonometric graphs of uh, uh, the, the tangent so with these values we are going to plot the graph of uh, y is equal to tan x we mark the points so at 90 uh, we say it is at infinity uh, then uh, so at two, 120 it is 1.2 uh, that is 1 1.2 120 it is uh, minus 1.2 so minus 1.2 is uh, 1.2 is there uh, at uh, 150 it is minus 0 0.6 150 it is uh, 0 0.6 uh, 0 0.6 will be there uh, then at 180 it is 0 at uh, 210 it is uh, 0 0.6 and at uh, 240 it is 1.7 240 it is 1.7 1.7 that will be that point uh, at 270 it is at infinity so what we do is to plot this graph so that is a graph of uh, y is equals to tan x uh, we put it here uh, y is equals to uh, tan x uh, so let's have a look at the, the the next part that we are supposed to answer So part D here, 
uh, we have uh, use the graph to solve the equation 1 plus 3 x sine x 3 sine x is equals to tan x for 90 le degrees less than x less than 270 and you get your max so that to solve that you it is where the two graphs cut each other and it is this point and the angle is uh, the angle is uh, uh, you can see one 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 square they present six so those are 12 half of it are three so x is equals to uh, 195 degrees and by getting that you get yourself one mark so that's how you work out uh, that problem uh, after this is a is a is a is a uh, diagram showing how marks are awarded in this question so for part uh, for part a filling the table uh, you are given two marks if you uh, you fill all the points uh, that is all the needed values and you are given one mark if you have filled at least five so that is the mark uh, that that is two marks when you get all the values uh, when you get five you get one mark part b uh, you get uh, one mark for using the right scale uh, then you have uh, protein uh, then the curve and we are given a bonus point when you state the amplitude is equals to three so that's how you earn marks in that but say you get a, point, a bonus point for drawing the correct uh, table, making the correct table, this is infinity. Uh, then uh, you get uh, 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 one point for the curve uh, being straight and for protein, that is uh, uh, the protein and the, the smoothness of the curve or the fitness of the curve, you get one mark then by getting the angle 195 which you have got you get a bonus point so the total question add up to 10 so that is how marks are awarded in this question